This space, this space has a legal, has a legal working, group. working group. We're an activist legal, We're an activist legal group, group with lawyers, with lawyers legal, workers, legal workers, and activists. And activists. We're working with, We're working with radical, radical lawyers, lawyers, progressive lawyers, and the National Lawyers Guild. And the National Lawyers Guild. To help make sure. To help make sure. Everyone. Everyone. Has legal. Has legal. Protection. Protection. Up till now. Up till now. We've had over. We've had over. 100. 100. Arrests. Arrests. Of, from yesterday. From yesterday. We had. We had. 90. 90. Or more. In 2001, where there's a long history of privatization that leads to a massive economic crisis, actually a collapse of the economy, really. Um, and the government, in this, it's a particular moment, the government froze everyone's bank accounts because there was a fear that people would take all of their money out of the banks. And what that caused in response was people going out into the street, banging on pots and pans. It's called the casserola. Um, and kind of just coming in the hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands. Um, and actually they forced out four governments with this kind of popular power in the street. People are now hundreds of thousands in the street. They begin looking to each other. So, you know, kind of, now what? What do we do next? Um, and began these horizontal assemblies in neighborhoods, also simultaneously, and this is what I'm going to talk about, in workplaces and in unemployed neighborhoods. But this process is incredibly important because it's a break with former ways of relating that was happening throughout society. And what came out of this was the idea of horizontalidad, which is when I would ask people what does horizontalidad mean? And I'm doing an oral history, so you can imagine I'm recording, and people would say, well, it's this. So you say, well, okay, what's that? Well, it's not this. So, that we're going to do this together. We're going to look to each other. And coming from having participated in Occupy Wall Street in New York and all of the movements that are emerging with this Democracia Real in Spain, people forming these horizontal assemblies, deciding to do it together, is an integral part of what's happening in the new movements. In Argentina, the recuperated workplaces, what is their success? and how would they kind of put out their goals. And the way they describe it is it's about basically just surviving and then helping one another, the solidarity politics. And this is not ideological. This is not coming from a place of workers saying, we need to take over our factory because we want socialism or capitalism is bad. It's just that capitalism failed them. And so they're creating an alternative for, and then out of that comes all of the different ideas and, and the creation. in looking at how do they decide what they're producing, how are they producing, how long do they work, a lot of these decisions are made based on the idea of solidarity as well. So this raises the question of, yes, it's under capitalism, there's market value and exchange, but at the same time, the workers are not saying we wanna make the most competitive workplace in capitalist terms. They're saying we wanna create something different and our priority is how we relate to one another in this horizontal way and how we're relating to people in society. So that choices are made all the time in workplaces. When you get to that resist part, a workplace occupies, then it has to resist the police. Um, people will go from one workplace and release, they'll make a decision in an assembly sometimes to release a, a large percentage of the workforce to go and defend another workplace. So that decision, that might not be the most productive in capitalist terms but it is in solidarity terms. So there's this whole other way of thinking about the value that's being created in the workplaces that is beyond or different than capitalist value exchange. The other word that's really important in this is recuperated, which yesterday also the workers who are here from, from Serbia, from Jugoramedia, use the same word, recuperated, which is not the same as occupying. Recuperating implies it, it's yours. 
and you're taking it back, which is different than occupying and placing a demand. So again, it's a different process and a different process in the conversation on cooperatives. It goes in the same broader conversation, but it's a different relationship. The slogan that the workers use in the process of recuperating, they borrowed from the landless movement of Brazil, which is occupy, resist, produce. And as much as yes, it's very complicated, people in the workplaces also describe it as incredibly simple, kind of a household economics. You just want to balance the budget at the end. And there are a lot of challenges and we should talk about it, but using this simple formula, first you take back what's yours, and then you resist the police and the state, which almost always has to happen, and sometimes quite brutally, and then begin production. In the workplaces that exist now, um, 60 to 70 percent of them use what they would refer to either as horizontalidad or some form of horizontal social relationships and assemblies. So distribution, equal power, breaking with hierarchy, not having managers within the workplace. 